Hi, I'm Loli, and I'm so glad you are here. Today's video is part of a recreation inspiration challenge in which we are to recreate another creator's project that inspires us and give them credit for it. I will let you know a little bit more further into the video. For now, let's start with the first inspiration. I love this idea from Monarch Mom DIYs, and I thought it was very unique and I wanted to recreate it. But I'm going to be using a pizza pan for mine, and I'm going to give it my own personal touch. I took one of the Dollar Tree pizza pans and I'm going to paint it with three coats of white. Then I'm going to take this folk art green paint from Anita's and I'm going to paint different sections on the edges of the pizza pan. I did it this way. I don't know exactly why. If I were to recreate this, I would paint my rim completely with the green and then come back in with the red or vice versa. But I decided to go one color at a time for some reason. Once I was done with the green, I painted in in red all of the white spaces using some red apple from Apple Barrel. Once everything was nice and dry, I'm going to take one of these plush elves from Dollar Tree. I removed that tag and I'm going to position it right here on the side. Before I glued anything, I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly where I wanted to put it. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. Then I'm going to add some black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree to the right of my elf. And I'm going to use a dauber to create a circle right there. I wanted the circle to be where his hand was. So it looked like he was pointing towards that circle. And just kept bouncing in circle as you see right here until I got to the size that I desired. Then I took my heat gun and I'm going to go ahead and dry that up. Now it's time to attach my plush. So I'm going to just glue it to the pizza pan using some hot glue. Then I decided to hand letter the words days until Christmas and this is what it turned out like. But I wasn't satisfied so I decided to remove it with some chalk paint. I just covered it up with some more white and then I decided to use these stickers from Dollar Tree instead. I cut out the letters for the words days and until I have a different approach for the Christmas. But so in order to keep the letters in the spacing that I wanted, I used a piece of masking tape and placed it on top of the letters so everything will stay in place. And I did the same thing with the word until. Then I'm going to go ahead and bend the edges of a masking tape onto that piece as you see right there so it will stick to the surface. And I'm going to use some of my Rust-Oleum Linen White Truck Paint to cover up the letters. Then I'm using this green color from Anita's. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the whole letters using this color. I used the white first, so it will take me less coats of the green to cover up the letters. Once I was done, I couldn't tell what was a U, what was an N, so I had to come in with my soldering iron, and I burned in the indentations to turn this back into an N. And I'm doing that in the middle one right there, as you see right there. And I'm just removing this section in the middle to turn it into an N again. And for the U, I did the same process, but I did it on the top of the letter. For the S, I went nice and easy and carefully to try to preserve the integrity of the curves. And I also opened up the A right there on the top. I ended up with a couple of charted edges on there, but I just scraped them off with my nail and I also did it with a little bit of um, sanding as well and with my Cricut weeding tool. Once I was happy with the way they were looking, I just painted it again with another coat of green. Now it's time to position them back on my pizza pan. As I removed the letters off of the tape, they had little pieces of the paint just stuck to them. So I had to scrape off those edges and try to do the edges as clean as possible. So I did that by using my nail and my um, scraper, not my scraper, my weeding tool from Dollar Tree. And I'm just making sure that I'm removing all the plastic from the sides without getting it to the sticky side of the letters. Once I put my letters back, this is what it was looking like so far. Now I'm just going to press them down nicely so they adhere to the pizza pan. 
for the word Christmas, I decided to use these letters from Dollar Tree. And I didn't have enough space to put Christmas, so I decided to do the letters X, M, A, S for Xmas. And then I painted it red with scarlet red from Dollar Tree. Now it's time to attach our letters, and I'm going to do so with using a bit of hot glue. My friend, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, I hope you will consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure to hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you each time that I upload a new video. All these things are free and they mean the world to me. All right, friends. So now here I'm taking some chalk and I'm just seasoning the chalkboard area. Since the pizza pan had a bit of a texture to it after I painted it, it came back like pretty, you know, I couldn't really wipe it off. So I just put the amount of days until Christmas. Right now, just in case you don't know, we are 170 days away from Christmas as of today's video. I ended up wiping that off and writing it again with my chalk. And I like how much more vibrant this was this way, but I already have seasoned it, so that works out pretty good. And this project is all done. Let me know what you think. My friend, today's video is part of the Recreation Inspiration Challenge that is hosted monthly on the 8th of each month by Katie from Lady Red Crafting and myself, Loli, from Loli These Creations. Each month, we have a guest host, and our guest host this month is Craftacular. The link to our channels and to their playlist will be linked in the description box below and also pin in the comments. Make sure that you head on over to their channels and to their playlist and show everyone some love. The next inspiration this evening came from Holly from Hot Humble Pie. She created this beautiful piece and I was inspired to recreate it myself. And of course, I'm going to give it my own personal spin. I found this beautiful bucket at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it along with both of those door hangers as well or reed hangers. The first thing that I did was bend back and forth the reed hanger as you see right there, trying to break off that section that will be attached to the door. And then I am bending that edge after I remove that piece inward to the other side of the, the loop to create two loops going upward. If you can't tell yet, I am using these reed hangers to create the bottom section of my sleigh. Once both sides were completed, I'm going to go ahead and take some tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. Here I'm just measuring that I have this as even as possible, that both of the sides are equal, and they are. So I am going to use some tumbling tower blocks to create a base for the sled. So I'm just putting it in sections of two, as you see right there, and making sure that they're spaced correctly. And then once I have that space right, I'm going to use some super glue to add these two pieces of tumbling tower blocks to each other. And then I'm going to add it to the sled. While those two sets of tamarind tower blocks are drying, I'm going to use these wood blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue one at each end of the sets of tamarind tower blocks. And I repeated the same process with the other ones as well. Now we're going to position it onto the reed hangers. I'm just trying to space them out as correctly as, as I can, making sure that the edge are at the edge of each one of the tamarind tower blocks as well. And I'm going to attach it also using some super glue. Now it's time to prep the piece, the plastic piece from Dollar Tree. And the first thing I want to do is cover it completely with a nice coat of Mod Podge. Once both pieces were dry, I'm taken outside and I'm going to paint the pail using that spray paint that you see right there. And I'm going to use the gold metallic finish spray paint for the sled bottom. But the sleigh pail came out pretty blotchy, so I'm going to take it back outside and spray it with this Krylon spray paint in the color red pepper. And while the paint was still wet, I sprinkled it with some gold glitter. 
now it's time to assemble it so using some gel super glue i'm going to add it to those square pieces of wood at the bottom and place the tail on top of it and look how cute this is looking so far i am loving it now it's time to embellish it i'm going to use some different picks from dollar tree some one poinsettias and some greenery and some gold berries and some greenery with some red berries my friend if you're still with me this far into the video i want to give you a warm thank you i appreciate you so much for your support and your time and if you have not subscribed yet and you're enjoying this video don't forget to give it a nice thumbs up that truly helps me with youtube it signals them and let them know that you enjoy my content and it will push it out to other people and if you're so inclined i would love it if you also subscribe make sure that you hit notification bell as well so youtube notifies you each time that i upload a new video thank you kindly now it's time for some gold berries i got these berries also at dollar tree i'm just spreading the the stems out so they will be spreading out around the poncerias as well and just rearranging the flowers to my liking and i did this so if i decide to use the greenery or the flowers in another project it's easy for me to just change them out it was still looking a little scanty so i came back in with this greenery also from dollar tree that has some red berries And I also added on some gold poncerias. Then I took one of these reindeers that I got a clearance uh, during the end of season at Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the tag, clean it up, and we are going to have this guide our sleigh. To create some reins, I'm going to use some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut a section that is big enough to go around the reindeer's neck and to the sides of the sleigh. And this concludes this project. Let me know what you think. All right, let's go to the next inspiration. I was inspired once more by Holly from Hot Humble Pie. And she made this beautiful sleigh. I'm going to use the same one from Dollar Tree. But of course, I'm going to give it my personal touch. The first thing that I did was deconstruct it by just removing every single piece off of it. I sanded off all the edges and try to do it as smooth as possible. I painted the slave blades with this gold color from Folk Art. For the main body and for that little let it snow piece, I use these self-adhesive tiles from Dollar Tree. I remove the paper off of the back and I'm going to place the sleigh on top of it. Then I took a sharp box cutter and I'm going to cut off the excess adhesive tile. By cutting off the edges, I remove the adhesion between the two pieces. So here I'm taking some hot glue and I'm adding it to the edges of the sleigh. So I'm able to glue this back in place. 
and I repeated the same process with a smaller piece. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to take this Werbely chalk paint then I call a lacquer and I'm going to completely cover the towel with it. And now it's time to assemble everything back together. So I'm going to go ahead and add my pieces back onto the sleigh blades. I looked at those edges and I didn't like how they look, but that's fine. In the next step, we will be fixing that. For now, I just want to go ahead and attach everything back together. I am using the torn areas as a guide of where to add my hot glue and where to position my piece. Now comes the fun part, embellishing. So for those edges that were looking kind of rustic, I'm using the same ribbon that I used for the previous DIY, and I'm going to glue it all along the edges of both the red pieces. And this is how they look so far once I covered all the edges. Now we're going to embellish it with some of these greenery and these bubbles from Dollar Tree. What do you call them? I don't know. They are, I guess, ornament picks maybe. And I'm going to put the gold balls or the gold um, ornaments in the back of the other one just to create a bigger one and to incorporate the gold and the red into one arrangement. I didn't want both picks ends to show, so I cut the one with the gold balls shorter, so the smaller piece will be hidden behind the other pick. And I just glued the smaller pick behind the other one. The pick with the evergreen was still a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim that down as well. And I did play around with the balls here and there, trying to have it as symmetrical as possible. Once I was happy with it, I'm going to just go ahead and take some hot glue and add it to the back section of the pick and glue it onto the middle of the sleigh. Then I wanted to just glue down this fine cone a little bit better, so I'm placing it right there on the stick and holding it in place until the hot glue sets. Then I'm taking some gold berries that I got left over from a different pick and I'm going to place them right in the middle of the balls. And I'm adding some more berries in different sections. And then I added a bow to the stem. I dovetailed the tails of my bow and added some berries to the center of the bow. And that's all she wrote. Let me know what you think. Here we go with the final reveal. Don't forget to let me know which one is your favorite. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion, and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. 
Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.